What's up? We're here in Cameron post game for Duke Clemson, a victory for Duke once again to remain undefeated. I'm here with Steven Sloka and I'm Danny Nolan. And Steven, the first half was very sloppy, but this game really came down to the shooting of Quinn Cook. Yeah, Quinn Cook really responded from last Saturday's 0 for 11 game against Wake Forest. He had 27 points, a career high for him, 12 of 16 from the field, and he was really the offensive spark that helped propel Duke to 15 and 0. Yeah, in addition, he had the five assists, he had the four rebounds, he had the five steals. I mean, he was all over the Pretty place much on the did court it all tonight. for Duke. Yeah, and and he carried the team. This, I mean, this was not an offensive game by any means, and. Going to the Clemson side of the ball for offense for them, 28% shooting, only 12% in the first half. What were they doing to you know keep the pressure? I mean, on? neither team in the beginning could really put the ball in the basket, but relentless Duke pressure. They uh, and essentially Clemson just could not put the ball in the hoop. I mean, mm -hmm. as simple as that. 12% in the first half, they only had 10 points. I mean, that's pretty impressive against an ACC opponent. With the exception of Devin Booker throwing it down a few times, it yeah. was not a lot of bright spots for Clemson tonight. But another victory in the books for Duke. Their next game will be on the road in their first true road test of the season against NC State. We'll see you guys there once again for Steven. I'm Danny. See you later.